Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So I want to speak with you guys about something. I want to um, do a video. We're talking about the Jacksons of Atlanta. So uh, they did a video uh, today um, that I am reacting to. Um, it is basically a, almost like a repeat. First, The first one they did was, oh, Mahogany missed her. Um missed her period uh is she pregnant which of course we know she's not um i say that because they just did the same prank not a week or two ago it hadn't even been a month so she shouldn't even be menstruated now truthfully uh we don't know i mean let's keep it real um if uh that's where they are or not but uh most likely not I'm just, you know, that is what it is. Um, so, after that video, that the sec the video that I was actually uh, just really bothered by was the um, video where they had the tombstone and the my beloved, uh, R.I.P. my beloved son. And basically, I guess what they're doing is close to the end of the month. So they're creating subject lines that you will uh, respond to as an audience. Um, and it's unfortunate that they don't have more respect for their following. But in that video, he mentioned the fact that he started another channel, which is the Pastor Justin Jackson channel. And he was talking about, hey, come check us out over here. You know, we'll um, have inspiration. We'll have this. We'll have that. We'll, we'll whatever, whatever. Okay. In the midst of that, it just made me think. This is a, a, a conundrum that I've had quite some time dealing with this couple, dealing with this channel. Uh, dealing with him um, as a pastor. And I do it like this because he does not have the typical pastor behavior. Now, I say that and one might think, oh, she is uh, being judgmental. Well, I'm not trying to judge him. Um, I'm actually questioning as a person who grew up in a... a family business uh type of church type of family um so it's like can you actually be a pastor and live the life that he is living like is that a thing i mean apparently he's doing it now is he sitting um head of a church at this time i don't think he is but uh he still considers himself a pastor now i don't know if he's a pastor who is registered with any type of um you know uh pastoral organization like you know uh, methodist this um southwest district that etc cetera, etc cetera. so i'm not sure if if he sits on any kind of bench anywhere but he still is a pastor according to him he still has a only fans they still put more money into taking risque photos than they do uh put money into their household and their children these are things that we know by watching them on this channel now i am basing what i am saying solely off of that Obviously, in the back, we don't really know what's going on. We don't know if they have another uh, place that they live and that they treat the kids different in that home or whatever. Now, I will say this. Their kids are the most untypical children I think I've ever seen. And what I mean by that, they, they don't act like kids. They act like they are just waiting for their next shift to start at work. They, they sit in there, they you know, getting their last little minutes uh, of rest and then they got to go on shift. That's the uh, assumption or that's, that's what they give me. Um, they don't act like, oh, this is mommy, I love her or this is daddy, I love him. They don't uh, act excited to see them. They don't act upset when they leave. It's just very, uh, very unauthentic or un, 
uh, natural. Let me just say it like that. So, the more that I watch them, the more these questions come to mind. Um, you know, how the kids act, how they act, the things that they show interest in versus their children. Prime example, Christmas. They had their kids open a few gifts, very small gifts. One of them was like a play food. And it had a logo of a business on top, which nine times out of ten means that uh, that business, which was T-E-M-U, uh, probably donated that gift to the channel. And so uh, they did it as a collaborative effort. So with that being the case, it's like... Um, um, kind of, what's the deal here? You know what I'm saying? Like... I just don't see a natural existence with them and this family. I don't see a naturalness with them as parents and their children. I don't see um, a natural anything. I, I mean, it's just so unnatural. Everything is so un unnatural. And it just takes me back to the, can you have these two, can you, can you wear these two hats? Can you, is it okay to be a pastor while having a OnlyFans that shows you risque? Is it okay to be a pastor while, um, and, and, and have your natural black behind all over the social of the medias? I mean, is that okay? Like in today's life, can a person put their body out there and say, not that they're trying to be sexual, but they are trying to, let's just say they're trying to glorify and say that the body is beautiful. So they're showing off their body. Do you still look at them and can you still look at them and completely respect them, com completely respect the position, completely respect uh, them as a person who speaks for God? Can you do that? That is a question that I am bringing to you guys today. Can this situation exist and you still be able to look at them, to respect them, to see him, the man, or even the woman as a pastor and fully respect everything that they bring to the table? Can a pastor conduct business how he conducts business with his family and still be respected in that position? Is it okay? That's what I want to know. I want to know, does anybody else feel the way that I feel? That this is off-putting, this is awkward. You look around like, does anybody else see what they're doing? And, you know, all of that. I'm just wanting to know how you guys feel. I'm not caring if you think it's okay, nor do I care if you don't think it's okay. I'm not, you know, we're not crucifying these people. I just want to know. This is my own personal, uh, can this be real type of question that I'm asking on my channel about this. These are people who are saying that they're representing God and everything in the Bible and you definitely don't glorify or um, glorify uh, sexual overtly sexual behaviors as a child of God and things like that. Now does it say that you can't? No, not necessarily. But how can you do both and and a hundred percent be behind both behaviors? Maybe that's a question or the way to ask the question. I just really want to know what you guys think and feel about this. You may not have an input. You may not care. You may care. I mean, it, like I said again, it's not a federal case type of situation. This is a question that I had that I'm bringing to you guys um, on my platform, and I just want to get your input. So I will uh, eagerly wait in the comments so that we can discuss this. I want to know what you think about this couple. What do you think about how they carry themselves? Could you follow a man like a Justin as your pastor and be 100% okay with it? Do you think that it's not appropriate? What do you think about the family dynamic? Do you think it's enough? Do you think it's unnatural? I just really want you guys to deep dive and let me know how you feel. And I, like I said, I will be waiting in the comments um, for you guys to uh, come with your uh, two cents of how you feel. And I will see you also in the next video.
Bye for now.